Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to talk about a very special problem of the type exponential and we will look at its solution in great detail. So someone sent me a mail regarding this problem asking for help in this particular problem where tan x to the power tan x was equal to 2019 upon 2020 and the interval was mentioned and they said that their teacher could not probably do it. So simply like to understand how to solve this problem because the problem specifically lies in the fact that any graphing calculator can be used to find out the number of solutions but how do you even find it when you do not have such an equipment at your hand so we will first look at the graph and we will see how the graph works here and then we will go to the solution also remember the solution is completely available in the description you have a link there you can click it and download the solution for your future reference as well so we can see the graph here and this is the graph of x to the power x basically. So you can obviously understand that tan x to the power tan x is not required and you can see this line right here. This horizontal line is nothing but y equals to 2019 by 2020. And uh, you can see that there are two solutions to this equation even if you see graphically. These are the points at which it is attained. It's like 0 0.00005. But nevertheless, this vertical line you see is the line 1 by e. So this is x equals to 1 by e, 0 0.367 as you can see. So you can see one solution is before this interval when uh, it is going from 0 to 1 by e. This is the interval in which it has one solution. And then again, it has another solution in the interval 1 by e2 up to infinity when it goes on and on and on. Right. So these are the two solutions. If you translate this problem to tan x to the power tan x, it will become the same thing. And let's see the solution analytically now how you are supposed to do it. So uh, let's come to the solution part. First of all, consider the function f of t equals to t to the power t. So you see uh, this function is defined in between 0 to infinity. Okay. Now, why are we using t to the power t and not tan x to the power tan x is something I will explain later on. But understand that this is the same thing because we can later on substitute for t equals to tan x. Now, we should know the behavior of this function near the endpoints. That is, uh, the endpoints are 0 and infinity. So, we will not look at 0 and pi by 2 for now. We will simply consider this problem as t to the power t equals to 2019 by 2020. So, this is something you should do it yourselves if you do not already know. The limit of t to the power t near 0 is 1. And when it goes to infinity, the limit diverges and this is infinity. This is intended as an exercise for the viewers. So this is a simple hint that you can use the logarithms to try and evaluate this. So something you should do yourself. Okay. Now we are going to analyze this function and we're going to analyze its monotonicity. That is whether it's increasing or decreasing. And if it is doing so, the intervals in which it is increasing or decreasing. So we need to know that. Why we need to know that? Because once we know, because since we know the value at endpoints and we kind of know that the value 2019 by 2020 should be 0 0.9 something, right? It should be above 0 0.9. It's so close to 2020. So we would be able to ascertain, okay, if it is increasing or decreasing, then if that particular value of 2019 upon 2020 lies in the range of this function, if it does, then we have a solution. And since it is monotonic, that solution will only be reached once. So first of all, we need to uh, find the derivative. So d dt of t to the power t. Always remember, you can express x to the power x as e to the power epsilon x. So as you can see, t to the power t has been expressed as e to the power t ln t. And then you simply do the chain rule. To understand chain rule, please check out the chain rule video. You can see it on the top right. Now, you simply have the derivative as t to the power t whole into 1 plus ln t. Now, to see if a function is increasing, we need to check if f dash t is greater than 0. And to see if it is decreasing, we simply need to check if f dash t is less than 0. The corresponding intervals will be the intervals in which the function is either increasing or decreasing. Now, if f dash t is greater than 0, you can calculate that t to the power t is always positive. So that means everything depends on the part 1 plus ln t. So if ln 1 plus ln t is positive, that means t is greater than e to the power minus 1 or 1 by e. That means t should belong to the interval 1 by e to infinity, correct? In a similar way, you can check that t should belong to the interval 0 to 1 by e when f of f dash t is less than 0. So it is increasing in the interval 1 by e to infinity and decreasing in the interval 0 to 1 by e. So we can say that from 0 to 1 by e, it first, it first basically decreases continuously, obviously. And then from 1, point, 1 by e onwards, it again starts increasing and then goes on to infinity. 
correct? Because the limit at infinity is infinity. So it starts from zero where the value is one and then it decreases up to the point where t is one by e and it assumes some value. And from that value onwards, again, the value of the function starts to increase as t becomes more than one by e. And then it basically diverges up to infinity as t goes to infinity, correct? So you have to notice that 2019 by 2020 is simply 0 0.95. And at t equals to 1 by e, we have f of 1 by e, which is the value of the function at 1 by e, which is crucial to our observations. We must know this. This is 1 by e whole to the power 1 by e, which is e to the power minus 1 by e, which is approximately 0 0.7. Now, how did I get that? So the thing is, in order to find this, we need to know a couple of things. First of all, the Taylor series of e to the power x is very helpful. You should just have it memorized. These things are something you should already know if you're trying to do calculus on a level, uh, even in JE mains and J advanced, you are doing it on a level which you want to solve almost all the problems. You should be knowing Taylor series and McLaurin series a little bit, not into depth, but just the surface of it. So this is the expansion for e to the power x and it's valid for any x. Now, E inverse is something you should know the value of. It's around 0 0.36 or 0 0.37 because this is something you also use in physics uh, in capacitors, if you remember. So uh, the value of E to the power minus E inverse, which is what we are going to find here, since f of 1 by E is that, you simply need to put minus E inverse in, in place of x, right? If you do that, you get this whole series. Now, just approximate for the first two, three terms. So one is already there. E inverse is 0 0.36 and E inverse whole square should be 0 0.1296. If you even approximate this first three terms, you simply get the answer as 0 0.7. And we only need to get an idea, right? If this interval is less or greater than 0 0.95, this number. So we understand that the value of the function at 1 by E is 0 0.7 approximately, which means it starts basically at t equals to 0, the value is 1. It decreases from there up to the point t equals to 1 by e when the value becomes, as we just found out, 0 0.7. So it decreases from 1 to 0 0.7 continuously. And the value 2019 by 2020, which is around 0 0.95, this thing lies inside that interval when it decreases from 1 to 0 0.7, which means we must have a solution inside that region, right? So this means we know that the limit at t equals to 0 is 1. And it decreases in the interval 0 to 1 by e, which means t to the power t should decrease from 1 to f of 1 by e, which is 1 by e whole to the power 1 by e, continuously. This means this value 0 0.955 is reached at exactly one point when this function was decreasing from the value 1 to the value 0 0.7, since this one lies in between this two. So there is a solution to the equation t to the power t equals to 2019 upon 2020 in the interval when t is belonging to 0 to 1 by e. Now, simply understand that t is tan x and since tan x is monotonic, it's, it's increasing. Therefore, we can already say that tan x to the power tan x, the same equation will have also have a solution in the interval tan inverse 0 to tan inverse 1 by e. Now, tan inverse 0 is nothing but 0, but tan inverse, e you have, tan inverse 1 by e, you have this. You don't need to calculate this because you are simply asked to find the values of the uh, the number of solutions, right? And in a similar manner, again, t to the power t increases from 0 0.7 to infinity in the interval 1 by e to infinity. Again, you can see when it goes from 0 0.7 to infinity, it will encounter the value 0 0.95 at some point. And that means t to the power t will assume this value at least uh, like one time, at exactly one time in the interval 1 by e to infinity. Therefore, t equals to tan x will again give you the interval in which it has a solution, which is tan inverse of one, e inverse or tan inverse of 1 by e to pi by 2 because tan inverse of infinity is simply pi by 2, correct? So this is how you solve the problem and the number of solutions is basically 2, correct? So I hope you liked the solution. I hope you uh, understood the question and how we went about it. So please let me know in the comment section if you like this and if you understood the problem correctly. If you still have any doubts, please feel free to ask me. So thank you for watching. We'll see you again in the next video.